Hello Grade 2s, it's so lovely to have you back here with me today. My name is Teacher Di and we are going to be doing a maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. Now if you have any questions while I'm talking, then you can ask mum or dad to send an email to the address on your screen now, grade2 at worksheetcloud.com and I'll do my best to answer your question in our next lesson. Okay, let's get started. Today's lesson is a grade 2 maths lesson and it's going to be all about multiplication. Ooh, do you remember what that word means? We're going to talk about it in a minute. Before we start, we have to do our exercises, our counting. Now, I always say to you that counting warms our brains up and today it's actually preparing our minds to count and think in certain numbers that's really going to help us. So let's pay attention and how about we actually draw around the numbers that we are counting so that we can get a really good um, pattern going. Okay, let's count in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60. Well done. Can you count backwards in twos? Let's do it for fun. I don't know if you've done this before, but I think we can all do it. We can count backwards in twos from 20. Shall we have a bash? We've circled the numbers, so I think it will help us. Let's try. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Wow, that was just for a bit of fun. Do you see how smart you are? Okay, let's try some more. How about counting in fives? And we'll also draw a circle around those numbers. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. That's right. Very good. Do you see the pattern? When you count in fives, you're counting down the five column and down the ten column. If you close your eyes and picture that grid, that's really going to help you count when you don't have it. Okay, so you've already got a clue. Today we're doing all things about twos and all things about fives. Okay. Now we are going to be talking about multiplication. We've done a lesson like this before. If you haven't watched it, you can go back and watch it. We introduced multiplication using two. So it was everything times two. Multiplication is just another word for times, which I'm sure you've heard by now. And times just means groups of. So we use the time sign to show groups of. For example, 1 times 5 is 1 group of 5. That's all it means. So picture for yourself, you've got some Smarties in your hand, you've got one group of 5, like that. So how many Smarties do you have? Well, 5. There's only one group of 5. Hey, so 1 times 5 is 5. There we go. Let's do another one. 2 times 5 which we think in our heads, two groups of five. Let's draw them out to help ourselves. There's five, there's another five. Can you see the answer? Another way of doing it is to just say five plus five. And we know that that is 10. So you can think groups of, and in your head you can draw the groups, or you can say five plus five, if that's easier, and you get the answer. 10. 2 times 5 is 10. Right, 3 times 5. I'm going to show you a different way, and that is to count in 5. So we've got 3 groups of 5, so we want to count in 5s 3 times. Okay, are you with me? Let's try. 5, 10, 15. Do you see we counted in 5s 3 times, and we got the right answer. 15. 3 times 5 is 15. If you prefer to have done that in your head, you can picture three groups of five, 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 same answer. 
Or if you prefer, you could have thought 5 plus 5 plus 5. 15. All of our brains work differently, so I'm showing you different ways to figure things out, and you choose the way that makes sense for you. Okay, we're going to continue counting in fives. I'd like you to try this method with us today. 5, 10, 15, 20. There we go, we did it four times for four times five, and the answer is 20. Very good. Right, five times five. Now, how many times are we counting in fives? Five times. So let's go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There we go. Easy peasy. 5 times 5 is 25. Well done. Okay, let's try all of them. And I'm going to go through them quite quickly because I want you to notice something. Okay, will you try and notice something with me? So here we go. 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 5 is 15, look here, 5, 10, 15, 20, right, 4 times 5 is 20, 5 times 5 is 25, do you see the pattern, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, that's right, 6 times 5 is 30, because that's 6 groups of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There we go. 6 groups of 5 makes 30. 7 groups, 35. 8 groups, do you see, 40. Let's do the answers. 7 times 5, 35. 8 times 5, 40. 9 times 5, 45, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. That's quite a nice one, hey, 10 times 5. I like the ones with 10s because it's like you just add a naught, hey. 11 times 5, 55, 60. 12 times 5 is 60. Okay, let's play a little game. Let's practice. I'm going to show you a flashcard, you tell me the answer. And then I'm going to say the answer and you check if you got it right. Okay, count up your high score. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. 40, 45, 50, 55, 12 times 5 is 60, very good. Okay, let's move on to 2's, we've done this before, so this is revision, we're timesing by 2, so we are counting in 2's, so one group of 2 is, stays 2. Two groups of two, 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 four. Three groups of two, two and two and two, six. Do you notice the pattern again? Two, four, six. It's basically counting in twos, and the number at the beginning tells us how many times. Four times two, we're going to count in twos, four times. Two, four, six, eight. Five times two, ten. Six times two, 12. 7 times 2? 14. Are you remembering these? 8 times 2? 16. 9 times 2? 18. Let's just count from the beginning in case you're getting a bit lost. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Brilliant. Okay, the same game. I'll show you a flashcard and you try beat me to the answer. Okay, and see if you get it right. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, 12, 14, 16, 18, 
20, 22, 24. Well done, that's very good. Okay, let's do some story sums to end off. Remember we've done multiplication, so try and think in your head how this could be a times sum. I plant four rows of beans. There are five beans in each row. How many beans are they all together? So that's four rows of beans. There we go. Five in each. Five, 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 five. And remember when we're doing math story sums, we're not being arty. I like to say we use shapes. That's all we use to draw when we need to draw out our story sums. Shapes. So for beans, we'll just use some circles. So we could count how many beans there are now if we wanted to. Or let's try to think of a fancy time sum. Okay, how many groups of what? There are four groups of, how many in each row? Five. Okay, I like that. Let's write that as a time sum. Four groups of five. Four times five is, now either you know this already, you know this by now, or we can count in fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Great. Twenty beans all together. Don't forget to write the answer with a word. 20 beans. Brilliant. Another one. How many fingers on nine hands? How many fingers on one hand? Five, of course. Now we've got nine hands. So let's draw that out quickly. If you were drawing it into your book, I would recommend you just use maybe a circle for the hand and you can draw five quick lines or you can even just write five, 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 five. So I've got a computer, so I'm going to actually do a hand. But if you were to draw this in your book, it would take you too long. Anyway, here we go. One hand. We need nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. And there are five fingers on each hand, so we should count in fives to get to the answer. Let's try to think of ourselves. Let's give ourselves a fancy time sum. How many groups of what? There are nine groups of how many fingers? Five. So let's write that as a time sum. Nine times five. Oh, very fancy. And what's the answer? Shall we quickly check? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. Brilliant. So the question was how many fingers on nine hands? And the answer is 45 fingers. Very good. Wow, you guys are awesome. You did such a good job today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson as much as I have. Head on over to Worksheet Cloud Activity, download the activity for today, and see if you can fill in the answers all about multiplication. Okay. I really enjoyed having you here with me today, Grade 2s, at this maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud.